Atlanta's number one hip-hop station is I-179. Your dirty J Nicks the Flies guy on the radio. Birthday bass, June 22nd. Hell's an exit nine, Mr. Michael. You better exit now. Matter of fact, you need to get on this train to success, baby, because we we, we we rolling now. I got Mr. Michael checking in. Come on, Mike, what's happening? I, man, about the business of succeeding, Come man. Come on, man. Get blessings chance, on blessings. Blessings, man. Get a chance to do, what, the 22nd. I do my homecoming, man. Come Here, on. I get to see one of my favorite rappers in the world in Lotto. I get a chance to see all this homegrown talent, all this talent coming into Atlanta, man. So it's a homecoming for me. Me to do birthday bash and, and, and all summer, fall and winter, I'll be on tour. So I see your church coming to you. Come on now, I'm not mad at that. Now look, now you know I gotta talk to you because I'm always I always love the way you you speak and you handle yeah. different situations. Hip hop has really been just upset right now. Everybody been dissing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 rap? What 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 beef have you enjoyed just listening to to see the skills? Because you're you're a lyricist. To go I back ain't listening to nobody. I've been in the studio. I ain't studying none of them. Okay. Oh, you not you not focused on none of that. It don't matter to me. Mike, do you think it's good for hip hop though, Mike? Like for for artists to battle back and forth if, I, if they I keep mean, it safe. Part, it's part of I'm seeing. You go back and forth. That's what you do. You know I tell you I mean? one thing though. I put this on church. Ain't nobody ain't, ain't nobody ever tried you. I nah, don't. I don't ever remember don't, seeing man. no diss records going on about Killer Mike. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't. We, I, you know, we had a few early, but we we got all that take care. We but, tighten all that. What up. I'm saying. What's going on now? Directly killer Mike, kill yeah. Michael, da, yeah. da 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 da. I ain't never heard that. No, well, I mean, my my thing is first, man, you got to come up with some classic albums. So mm. everybody I know who who in it, you know, they didn't came with some classics. So, mm. but if you ain't got no classics, focus on building the audience more than the beef. Come and, on. Man. And if you rapping, you should be worried more about your raps than somebody else's beef. Mm -hmm. You know, the the beef is for the audience to talk about. But if you rapping. You better get back in that studio and keep rapping. Because man. you got to go on tour like Mike going yeah, on tour yeah, after birthday bash. You better believe it. You better believe what it. What you bring to the stage on birthday bash, man? Man, Chirp. Come on now. Chirp. You know what I mean? The, the best of the street. It like, you know when the, uh, you know the dope boy give us selling dope over the shirt. Mm. Preach them. Everybody welcome, no matter how you dress. Come we gonna, on now. We going to come in there, thank God for the day, man. We got, we going we gonna to put, we, my, my man Rico Ray, we laying him I the rest, man. I was about to say it. Yeah, and, and, and so the, my last big show here was one music fest. And, and I had Rico come on stage with me, and I gave him his flowers. So, man, I'm bringing the energy and the spirit of Rico with me. I'm bringing the the, the production value, organized noise with me. I'm bringing the love of Atlanta, the outcasts, and Good and Marv had with me. And I'm repping for the Dungeon Family. So, mm. I'm bringing church, and I'm bringing it in the name of the Dungeon Family. <laughs> Dungeon Bash, June 22nd. Hey. Long live Rico. Long live Rico Wade, man. Well, how, how influential was Rico to you? Like, what, is, what does Rico mean to you? Because I, I think that sometimes this young generation— just don't understand certain things and realize how much of a pioneer he was. I don't think he got his flowers that he deserved. Oh, and man. How much he was on. wearing Braves caps before anybody. He was wearing Braves jerseys, Hawks jerseys, Falcons. He was the one that was – he was – you know, there was a time where New York and Los Angeles were the two cities in hip-hop. Mm. And you had southern cities like Miami popping up, Houston, of course, Louisiana – even Memphis, but they just regarded the South as just one big region. They didn't even mm. know the differences between the way your grits cooked in Alabama and Georgia. They didn't care. It was just the South. South was and, Texas, and, everything. Yeah, yeah, and what and what Rico did was show that Atlanta was distinctly its own city. It wasn't mm. just a little brother to, to Miami. It wasn't just, you know, an offshoot of the sound of Memphis or Houston or New Orleans, that it was its own thing. And he made it prideful to be from in Atlanta. And I don't, you know, all of Metro Atlanta is Atlanta, but it's different from being inside of 285. Mm. It's different from going to APS, you Come know. And what Rico did in terms of sound, what he, Ray, and, and Pat, what they were able to do in terms of sound, taking that super fly Curtis may feel that sound, and instead of sampling, creating a sound, mm. they gave Atlanta a sound, and Rico just made it cool. So even when I went in, you know, before I won these three Grammys in terms of rap wait, album wait, of the wait year. Wait a minute. You, wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't let that slide. Yeah, three. Before brought, he won three, not we, one. We brought three home. Not two, we brought but three. three. And there was three Dungeon family members. It was two of the records. Well, one of the records was your scientists and engineers. You know, it was me, it was Dre, and it was Future. That's all Dungeon family, mm. you know. And then when you look at rap album of the year, Rico and Ray was in the room when we first started, when me and Cuz Lightyear first started working on the record. And, um, you know, Ray said, this album got to be distinctly Southern. It got to be as cohesive as the chronic. And Rico said, yeah, that's right. It's, it it got to be jamming. You got to say something for the South. You got to do this for the dungeon. And he, mm. and they just walked out. Mm. And and, that, and, the, and the bar had been set. So all along the way, he encouraged me, he pushed me. He put his ill stuff. He gave suggestions. You know, Rico didn't even have to be credited. He cared about the work being great. Mm. And then when we got to the end of the record, <clears throat> and I said, you know, the really co-star of this of this album is Atlanta, the city. All the people mm. have poured into me, and I was like, "Man, who is the voice of Atlanta?" And we and it was 
we call Rico. Come and on if you listen to Michael, Rico is the voice you hear through the album, mm. from the first time the album come on to narrating through, that's Rico. And I appreciate my big bro for it. June 22nd on the way. Yeah, we're going to do it. I man. know you got something special because everybody everybody knows you, Mike. I'm not going to BS you, man. You, you, you the big dog. Hey, man, I appreciate you. I, the people that you could possibly even invite if you wanted to, if you decide to just pick up your phone and... Make a call. We're going to do something cool. They ain't giving me like 15, 20 minutes, but we're going to do something way cool. Okay, Just know cool. That I'm going to tell you, if I don't bring a soul, I got the Mighty Midnight Revival with me. Stop playing. And I don't know if y'all done heard that five-piece chorus, but, man, they are amazing. Jory, Jordan, you know, Alicia, Adonica, and Troy, man, they are. Um, Experience. They, they, man, Tori. You're going to make me cry on stage, hey, Mike. Man, I'm going to make you cry. I'm standing on stage right now. I'm going to cry on stage, I ain't going to lie. You're going to cry. Am I going to ask God for forgiveness? You're going to ask God for forgiveness. Come Even on, though man. you might go to the flame out the world. Come on, yeah, man. You and the stripper are going to pray together. Come on, man. God loves them, too. You and better believe flame. And I want to lay hands on Come on, dude, too, Mike. June 22nd is going down. <laughs> Let's Kill do it. Kill Mike at Birthday Bash. You might want to get your tickets. You might want to get miss them. this church session. Might want to get Better than Kirk Franklin, baby. Woo. Down in McClurkland. Hey. <laughs> you better come on through. It's definitely going down. <laughs> it's 7.9 at 4 o'clock. I'm going to let you know how you win $1,000 at 4.04. It's 7.9.